students welcome to our brilliant channel maths nation dear students as per my promise i have completed your syllabus and now we continue with our revision series please students be attentive and follow my class regularly i ensure there will be no need of any extra maths classes today we continue with in my last sessions we have discussed about factorizations today we continue with linear equations today we continue with the chapter linear equations what do you mean by linear equation students linear equation is the algebraic expressions of degree 1 suppose x minus 5 is equal to 9 is this a linear equations yes this is a linear equations because the highest power of the algebraic expression is 1 2x square minus 5x plus 3 is equal to zero. Is this a linear equations? No, because here highest power of the algebraic expression is 2. This is not a linear equation. This is a quadratic equations. Suppose I write 5x square plus 3x plus 1 upon x. Minus five is equal to zero. Is this a linear equations? No, because here highest power is two, and here the x has a negative power. One minus x means x to the power minus one. This is also not a equation, not a linear equations. Suppose one upon x plus five is equal to nine. Is this a linear equations? Yes, because when we solve this. Suppose we take x as LCM. This is one plus five x is equal to nine. Then one plus five x is equal to nine x. Mean nine x minus five x is equal to one. Yes, this is a linear equations. Okay, linear equations is the algebraic expressions of of power one. Suppose Let us now. Let us start to how how we solve the equations. Take an example. Three of y minus five is equal to six. Then at first when we solve the linear equations, at first open the bracket. When you open the bracket, three into y minus three into five fifteen is equal to six. This means three y is equal to fifteen plus six, which is equal to twenty one. Y is equal to twenty one upon three is equal to seven. While you solving linear equations, the when this is called the LHS and this part is called the RHS. This is left hand side and this is right hand side. When you when you shift uh, the terms from LHS to RHS, then if the the term is positive in LHS, then it will be negative in RHS. If this will This is negative in LHS. Suppose this here is minus fifteen. When you take it to the RHS, then it becomes plus fifteen. Then and and when a yes, number is multiplied with in LHS, then when you take it to RHS, this becomes divide. Means when the number is in numerator in LHS, this shift to the Denominator in RHS here three y is equal to twenty one. Who to find out the value of y here three is multiplied and you, then when you take it to RHS then it divide with it twenty one upon three is equal to seven. Suppose take another examples. I have already told you students in case of maths knowing formula is not sufficient. Try to practice variety of questions when you. Practice variety of questions. Then the questions which will be asked in your exam paper will not be a challenge for you. Try to practice variety of questions. Here, look at here. Suppose four and two. Take the LCM of four and two is four. Then this is z minus three plus two into two z. Plus five, which is equal to three upon five. Then use the cross multiplication method. Keep it here and solve it. Keep it here and solve it. Take the 
cross multiplication method you know what is cross multiplication method then 5 is whole multiplied with z minus 3 plus 2 into 2 z plus 5 which is equal to 4 into 3 then this shift to the RHS and this shift to the LHS then here keep 5 here then at first do the algebraic expressions inside the bracket here the 2z 2 into 2z 4z plus 10 is equal to 4 3z 12 then then do the algebraic expressions inside the bracket z plus 4z is 5z minus 3 plus 10 is equal to plus 7 which is equal to 12 then take open the bracket take the 5 insides 5 into 5z which is 25z plus 5 into 7 35 is equal to 12 then this means 25z is equal to 12 minus 35 then here 25z is equal to minus 23 then z is equal to z is equal to minus 23 upon 25 this is the answer of the linear equations Okay, then let us solve some more examples. Let us solve some more examples. Variety of questions. Please practice variety of questions. Here the question says 1 upon 5 m minus 4 is equal to 2 m plus 5. Then here 1 take 5 as LCM. 1 into m means m minus 20 is equal to 2m plus 5 then here m minus 20 is equal to here 5 is at the denominator when you take it the numerator it multiplied with it when you take it to RHS it becomes to go to the numerator means multiplied this is then when open the bracket 5 into 2m 10 m 5 into 5 25 then take m minus 10 m is equal to 20 plus 25 which is minus 9 m is equal to 45 means m is equal to 45 upon minus 9 which is equal to minus 5 this is the answer of the questions okay then this method is called transposing method. When you shift the LHS to RHS, the sign changes and when the term is at numerator when it in LHS and when it goes to the RHS, it goes to the denominator. Okay. Then students, then practice another questions. Then here practice another questions. I have already told you please practice variety of questions. Variety of questions will be helpful for you. Please students follow with me. Follow my class regularly. Watch the video up to the end and follow my class regularly and ask me your doubt i am ever ready to clear your all queries here the question says y plus 6 upon 4 in plus y minus 3 upon 5 is equal to 5y minus 4 upon 8 then here in the lhs take the lcm of 5 and 4 is 20 then 5 into y plus 6 e plus 4 into y minus 3 is equal to 5y minus 4 upon 8. Then use here, then at first open the bracket. When you open the bracket, 5 into y, 5y, 5, y, 5 into 6, 36, 4 into y, 4y minus 12 upon 20. Then here this is 5y minus 4 upon 8. Use the cross multiplication method. Here 5y plus 4y 9y 30 minus 12 plus 18. Then when you use the cross multiplications, this 8 in the denominator at the RHS come to the numerator in the LHS. 
then here this is 20 into 5 y minus 4 then it uh, then you students open the bracket 8 into 9 y 72 y plus 18 into 8 144 which is equal to 20 into 5 100y minus 80 then this is 100y minus 72 I take this to the RHS and this to the LHS here the 80 is minus 80 when we take it to the LHS it becomes plus 80 then I interchange the LHS and RHS. Here we get 28Y is equal to 4 to 24. Then Y is equal to 224 upon 28. Then this is 8. Y is equal to 8. This is the answer of the questions. Then students please do your worksheets regularly and if any doubt persists please ask me in my comment box i am ever ready for your any query or any doubt here the question says 6x plus 7 upon 3x plus 2 is equal to 4x plus 5 upon 2x plus 3 then here use the cross multiplication method 6x plus 7 into 2x plus 3 is equal to 4x plus 5 into 3x plus 2 then you multiply open the bracket and multiply please students recall the algebraic expressions while you multiply binomial with binomial at first you split it into monomial with binomial then this is then you multiply this then here in RHS also split this into monomial into binomial and open the bracket then multiply 6x into 2x is equal to 12x square plus 18x plus 7 into 2x 14x plus 21 is equal to 3x into 4x 12x square plus 8x plus 5 into 3 15x plus 10 then here 12x square 12x square cancel then 18x plus 14x is equal to 32x plus 21 and here in RHS 15x plus 8x is equal to 23x plus 10 then take it the, use the transposing method and when you solve the linear equation at first always try to keep the variable one side and keep the constants one side always try to keep the variable in LHS and keep the constant to the RHS here 23x is the variable side then take it to the LHS 32x minus 22x is equal to 9x then 10 minus 21 is equal to minus 11 then here x is equal to minus 11 upon 9 this is the answer of the questions okay then students try another example then another example then next we continue with the application of linear equations application of linear equation means word problems it, it, now we continue with the solving the linear equations then next we start application of linear equations means word problems while solving the word problem at first try to understand the questions then make the equations linear equations when you understand the question then can you make the linear equations when you make the linear equation and you solve the linear equation and get the answers okay then here let us solve this then in this question also you use 
cross multiplication method you know what is cross multiplication method the term which is new denominator in the rhs come to the numerator to the lhs and the term which is at the denominator in the lhs split uh, split uh, trans in to the rhs as the numerator then change it to the the 1 minus 5x is at the denominator then when we shift it to the LA rhs then it shift as the numerator this is the cross multiplication method then students please recall while you multiply binomial with binomial then at first the split it into monomial with binomial then then try to multiply this then here in the rhs also do this thus split it into monomial with binomial then do the operation 2 into 4 8 plus 10 x minus 28 x and 28 sorry 28 and minus 28 minus 28x then next 7x into 5x minus 35x square which is in the RHS 3 minus 15x plus 7x minus 35x square here in LHS minus 35x square in RHS minus 35x square cancel then here 8 plus 10x minus 28x means 8 minus 18x is equal to 3 minus 8x then use the transpose method shift the variable to the LHS and, and shift the constant to the RHS here minus 18x plus 8x is equal to 3 minus 8 minus 18 plus 8 is minus 10 x is equal to minus 5 Nay, then x is equal to minus 5 upon minus 10 minus minus cancel this is x is equal to 1 upon 2 this is the answer then let us practice some application of linear equations means word problems while you solving the word problem at first try to understand the questions when you understand the questions then can you make the linear equations here the question says here at first try to understand the questions this is application of linear equations two numbers are in the ratio 5 is to 8 if the sum of the number is 182 find the numbers the numbers are in the ratio 5 is to 8 let the number be 5x and 8x let the two numbers be 8, 5x and 8x the sum of the number is given 182 means according to questions 5x plus 8x is 182 this means 13 x is equal to 182 which imply x is equal to 182 upon 13 which is equal to 14 then here we get x is equal to 14 the numbers are 5 x and 8 x then the first number 5 x is equal to 5 into 14 70 then the second number 8x is equal to 8 into 14 14 8 ja is equal to 140 minus 12, 112 then these are the two numbers whose sum is 182 and they are in the ratio 5 is to 8 then let us solve another questions let us solve another questions here the second question says the sum of the digits of a two digit number is 15 sum of the digits of a two digit number is 15 then 
if the number formed by the reversing the digit is less than the original number by 27 find the original number and check your solutions let the digit in unit place here the sum of the digits of a two digit number is 15 let the number let the digit at ones place digit at ones ones place or unit place ones place or unit place b x then the number at the tens place then the digit at the tens place digit at tens place is equal to 15 minus x x as the sum of their digits is 15 then according to question the original number is then according to question the original number will be as this is the tens place digit then 10 into 15 minus x plus x because x is the digit at the ones place or unit place and the another thing says by reversing the digit when we reverse the digit means the unit place become tens place and the tens place become unit place then the number will be less than the original number by 27 then this is the original number then when you shift this this original number is 150 minus 10x plus x which is equal to 150 minus 9x but when you shift the digits means the number becomes the tens place becomes x and the unit place becomes 15 minus x then the number become 10 into x plus 15 minus x this number is less than from the original number by 27 this means this plus 27 is equal to the original number 150 minus 9x then here the number is 10x plus 15 minus x plus 27 is equal to 150 minus 9x then here here 10x minus x 9x 15 plus 27 is equal to 42 which is equal to 150 minus 9x keep it here and solve this then here 9x minus 9x use the transposing method take it into i have already told you take the variable to the lhs when minus 9x shift to the LHS it becomes plus 9x 9x plus 9x becomes 18x 18x is equal to 18x is equal to 150 minus 42 18x is equal to 108 then x is equal to 108 upon 18 which is equal to 6 then we get the value of x is 6 means the digit at unit place is 6 then the digit at tens place is 15 minus x then the digit at tens place is 15 minus x means 15 minus 6 is equal to 9 the digit at tens place is 9 and the unit place is 6 means the original number is 96 then when we shift the number then the number becomes 69 which is 27 less than the original number means 69 plus 27 is 96 okay then next question next question <music>